大家好，我是 Jack。Hello, everybody, and welcome to another morning English podcast. Hello, 大家好，我是木木，欢迎大家收听今天的早安英文。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at some slightly confusing words and expressions in English, and doing our best to explain them to you. 哈哈，我们总说呢，英文翻译成中文的时候不要直接翻译，但是有些词就是可以直接翻译的，比如说洗脑，我们就是脑 brain 加洗。Wash, brainwash. So today, just to summarize, there are some words that we can directly translate. If you want to watch the video of this episode, okay. So first up today, we have bottleneck. One word: b o t t l e n e c k. B o t t. B o t t. Da da da. Bottleneck. So、yeah. this can mainly be used、uh, in when talking about traffic. However, it can be used on other occasions as well. This is one of those words that literally means what it means. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, I know what you mean. So a bottleneck is when a lot of things get forced into a small area or route. 对，刚刚 Jack 分 Jack <笑> Jack Jack 分享了一个可以直接翻译的词，就是瓶颈。我们平常说的什么瓶颈期呀、啊，遇到了瓶颈啊，就是这个瓶子 bottle 加上颈 neck 放在一起呢。Bottleneck 就是瓶颈,瓶颈，可以 translate directly。明白了。对，主要是指呢交通比较繁忙啊，比如说很多的车都挤在了一起。So any other usage? So you can use it for other things than just traffic. Yes. So maybe you have a lot of work to do all at once.、Mm-hmm. You could say, "I'm in a bottleneck at work." So you're in a tricky, busy situation. You know, have a lot of things to do. You're in a bottleneck. Can it mean a period of time to face troubles? Yes, you could say that. You could say the end of the year is a bottleneck、mm. for our work. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of work that lasts. I know what you mean.、Mm. 所以除了指交通之外呢，还有一个意思就是说遇到了瓶颈，遇到了麻烦。比如说，刚刚这个造了这样一个句子 ：I'm in a bottleneck at work. 就是我在工作上遇到了瓶颈。Okay, the next one we have is brainwash. 就是在节目的开始我就提到了这个可以直接翻译的词，就是洗脑，就是 brainwash.、Mm. And no, it doesn't mean wash your brain. <laughs> <laughs> 就不是说真的要洗你的脑子。是的 ，so、uh, yeah. I'm funny, I know. You, you are very. <laughs> go on, go on. If you brainwash somebody, you are tricking them into believing something to be true. Yes. So an example sentence would be: The children were brainwashed by their parents.、Um, but remember, this is a bad thing. Definitely. So it, it can't be used as teaching. It's like a, a bad teaching. 比如说 ，Jack 造的句子就是这个小孩被他的父母给洗脑了。但是呢，这是一个比较消极的词，洗脑它是一个不好的词。Mm. 如果你它不可以和这个 teach， it's not the same word. Yeah. Brainwash means often means bad thing. Exactly. Okay, so next we have blacklist. Two words.、Uh, this is another one with a bad meaning. 我们一直都在说 bad meaning， <laughs> 不好的词，不好的词。Do we have any good ones on the list? Yes, we do. Actually, they're coming. I promise.、Mm, okay, I'm waiting for this. All right. So, can you explain blacklist to us? Sure. So, this basically means that you are in trouble because you are on a list of people that cannot be trusted or allowed something for whatever reason. <laughs> So, say if you didn't pay at the restaurant,、mm-hmm. you would be blacklisted at the restaurant, so they wouldn't let you come back again. Exactly, I couldn't have described it better myself. Hey, Chen Hao. 就是说，相信大家一听到刚我刚刚说的那个词 blacklist， 就知道我们在聊什么。Black 就是不好的，黑色的， yeah, 黑色的。还有 list 指的是名单，那么 blacklist 就是黑名单。黑名单。对，所以说，比如说你吃饭了，在一家餐厅吃饭了，你不给钱吃霸王餐，那么你就被这家餐厅写进了 blacklist、嗯、黑名单。
Or on WeChat, you can blacklist someone you don't want to talk to. Oh really? I didn't didn't know you could do that. You don't that. know this function? No, no, I didn't. 就是在我们的微信里面有黑名单这个功能，就是可以拉近黑名单，就他再也就给你发不了信息了。Mm. All right. What's the next one? I I wish it's a good one. Yeah. So next we have time flies. What? Yeah. So this is just used to express that time has passed very quickly. Yes, just like the expression "time flies" when you are having fun. And it does. I think so. Yeah,、really. exactly. 其实我们对于这个词组非常的熟悉啊。我们来看一下，这也是可以直接译的。Time 是时间 ，flies 表示飞走了，就是时光飞逝。我们从小呢就 recite this sentence. How time flies. Everybody time knows flies. it. Yeah, very easy one. This one. 对对对，就是表示时间过得好快呀。Okay, next is kill two birds with one stone. 嗯。A lot. So this means you have figured out how to do two things at once,、mm. or complete two goals with one action. Yes, kill two birds 指的是杀死两只鸟 with one stone 就是用一个石头、mm. 对应的成语呢就是 forward thinking in Chinese 叫做、oh, really? 一石二鸟一石二鸟 You should remember this one.、Oh, It's very one. useful. 一石二鸟一石二鸟就是一次完成两个目标或者是解决两个问题都可以用上这个表达 Kill two birds with one stone. Okay, and the last one for today is strike while the iron is hot. This means that you have to do something while you have the chance or opportunity. 对，这个也可以直接翻译 strike 表示击打 while the iron is hot 就是当铁还热着的时候，对应的是一个 forward saying in Chinese 就是趁热打铁。趁热打铁。对。好 ，Okay, so an example sentence would be. We have to strike while the iron is hot. No other company has this idea. So, 刚刚这个造的句子就是，当其他的公司还没有这个想法的时候，我们现在应该趁热打铁，马上把这件事情给办了。We have to strike while the iron is hot. No other company has this idea. Exactly. So today we've learned some. Words and expressions we can translate directly. Exactly. 比如说洗脑，怎么说洗脑？洗脑。Brainwash. Brainwash. 嗯，还有比如说瓶颈 ，bottle. 瓶颈水。Bottle neck. 感谢大家收听我们今天的节目。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语，听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Okay, so much for today's podcast. 谢谢，我是 Jack， 我是木木，再见，拜拜。